recording. Great, the recording has started. So we are going to see uh, how to create 10 Academy profile. This is the kind of profile that 10 Academy shares with our employer partners, just in case um, they, are, they have open roles and they are willing to hire from um, our trainee database. So this is the site that they get access to. This is where they read uh, uh, all your pro profile. It's like your 10 Academy portfolio where you highlight what you want our employer partners to know about you and to, of course, to see your potential. So yeah, let's dive into it quickly. So how do we get to create our 10 Academy portfolio? First and foremost, let me show you how it looks uh, so that we get to know what we are talking about on the same page. Um, okay, one second. Let me pull an example I have here. Great, so this is the 10 Academy profile from one of the batch five people. Uh, so this is how it looks like. This is what we call the top matter of how it should be looking like. Then the introduction where they put their skills, the about, the education, the work experience, the projects, and of course where they go into projects deeply like, um, uh, exactly how did they go into every project and uh, like you do not put here all the projects you put here the project that are related with your track and of course um, uh, and of course the crucial ones like not all of them just the crucial ones you feel like they are the main potential for you so yeah now we see what we are talking about let's come back here and see how are we going to be creating our own profile there so this is the top matter, how it looks like generally uh, when you edit it, this is how it's going to look like. You can change this profile picture, you can change this name just according to how you want, but ensure that it lists that it's your 10 Academy portfolio or 10 Academy profile. Then we go to second, where we see where you have to put your video. This is a short video introduction of you. Very short video introduction of you, talking about yourself, talking about, um, okay, it, it should be talking about yourself. It should be talking about, we are going to be seeing what it should be talking about here. It should be talking about your name. It should be talking about where you live. And uh, when you completed your 10 Academy cohort, we have some examples from the careers manual. For instance, your, you do not have to put your full name like uh, to the people, even those who have two names, just put the kind of name you want the people in that team to call you. For instance, Yabba Bell is called Yabba Bell in another name, but he prefers people to call him Yabi. So it's, just put there an easy name to remember and then where you currently live for instance he lives in germany berlin and then where you will complete when you will complete your 10 academy you can say that you will complete it you you will complete your 10 academy courses or training in june 2024 and then you have to list when you are ready for work you can start saying that you will be ready for work starting from june 2024 of course because that's when officially you look uh, forward to be uh, completing your 10 academy courses then whether you want a job in jane ai ml just within your track and then you have to list your top three or five skills um that are related i mean that you want the hiring uh, managers to know about you 
then you have to highlight the like, title of two or three projects. These are the titles, just the titles within your turn academy journey. What kind of type? What kind of projects did you work on? Just the titles. We are going to be seeing an example of uh, the video we have, like a sample video. And we go back to the previous slide for us to watch that video, and then you have to say one interesting fact about you. It can be something from real life, for instance, if you're a footballer or if you enjoy riding bicycles or taking walks on weekends, just something that makes it clear that you're a person. There should be a personal touch anytime we are applying anywhere. And then a closing, it can be thank you or just thank you, check out my profile page. So let's go back and see uh, this video. Hi. So to ensure that we're on the same page before I play the video, can I have some thumbs ups? Uh, because I didn't check on you. Okay, great. And I, I believe that we are also doing great in this afternoon. So let's hear this video. It's maximum 32 seconds. Hey, my name is Arun Sharma. I'm from Canada and I will complete my Tenem Academy training and be ready for full-time work from October, 2021. I'm ready for careers in the fields of machine learning engineering ML Ops and data engineering. And some of my key strengths are working in PyTorch, working with SQL, working with Python, software engineering, visualization, and data engineering. I love bikes and reading. Please check out my profile page and my GitHub link to see what I'm working on and how I think I can make a high impact contribution to your team. Thanks. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi. So before you proceed to how the video should be like, the first thing I see, uh, we saw that is that the video should be long, 32 seconds. Who can share us some other things they realized in this video? It's just one thing, one crucial thing that I want us to talk about. And I want to see if there is someone who realized it. Or should I play the video again for you? Okay, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, he was kind of checking his notes, I believe. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, thanks for spotting that. That's what I wanted us to, to talk about. You can memorize. It, it's going to take you uh, some time for you to get your video correct, like get everything together correct. So first and foremost, you have to have your script ready written somewhere you have to rehearse it without a camera or even in front of camera for you to see what you have to correct and then you have to try one one time like one official time and see how it goes and see what you can change number two that's about having a script and then rehearsing in front of a camera or even not in front of a camera just how you feel you can take it and number two when you are then taking the very last video, it's okay to look at your notes, but ensure that uh, you are not spending so much time looking there. That's why you have to memorize what's in what's on every line of your script. Let's see how Aaron was doing it. You will not see that he spent more than two seconds or three seconds checking his notes. He's just putting his eye there for him to not miss a thing and for him to put uh, his script in synchronization as he planned. So let's do it mo one more time. Hi, my name is Arun Sharma. I'm from Canada, and I will complete my Tenem Academy training and be ready for full-time work from October 2021. I'm ready for careers in the fields of machine learning engineering, ML ops, and data engineering. And some of my key strengths are working in PyTorch, working with SQL, working with Python, software engineering, visualization, and data engineering. I love bikes and reading. Please check out my profile page and my GitHub link to see what I'm working on and how I think I can make a high impact contribution to your team. Thanks. Okay, great. Um, is it playing? Okay. I hope we saw how he was doing it. So your, your video again, uh, when you are taking your video, check again this sample, make it 10 seconds minimum, 
this is the very minimum. 20 seconds should be the goal, but 30 seconds should be the maximum. So let's aim for 30 seconds. You saw that it was short and it highlighted that he's currently in the training and that he's looking forward to be starting his role right after the training. He highlighted the key skills and then he highlighted um and then he highlighted the fact that they can check his profile to see what he's working on, which are the projects specifically. So let's aim for, for 30 seconds maximum, covering all that. Ensure that you have a good camera. We saw that he was clear and to the point. He was clear and we could hear him with no background noises. We could hear see him clearly. So uh, take note of that as well then your sound of course should be clear make sure also the lighting is so clean and normal we advise that you take this on a daytime and also by normal we mean when uh to some people who might take it in the evening and probably you are in an area where your background is kind of blue or red or kind of yellowish like uh let's keep it normal keep it, keep your lighting normal like inside or outdoors normal uh, and then, um, again, highlighting the, the why is that we want the employees to get a sense of who you are as a person beyond your CV, beyond everything written of yourself. Like we want um, them to view this. This was like in 2021. So let's ensure that our 2024 are much more better than our own. So, yeah, we already talked about this. and um again this uh, about the kind of personality you should be having practice these when i talked to aaron he said that it took him three tries to get his video straight so when it takes you much more time to try and get your video get your final video it's okay just ensure that it's very smooth and natural and make sure that the preview picture looks good. When you're about to upload your video on YouTube, they give you um, an option where you can put your preview picture. That picture should be your picture that you put probably on LinkedIn um, or your GitHub profile or anywhere else that you put your picture. Let's have the common picture everywhere so that everyone who visits all your sites they see that you are still the same person. So the preview picture, make it your LinkedIn picture. And then your mood, it should be positive and professional. It should speak honestly and clearly. And also talking about the mood again, you saw that he was so relaxed. He was very natural. It's like uh, he was talking to us. It was very natural. So watch it again and ensure that you keep the same mood don't look like um because i know taking videos might be stressful so <laughs> so let's try let's try to have um to keep our mood so natural like you are conversating but just in 30 seconds and then in clothing dress professionally to the guys i believe it's just a shirt let's not make it casual by wearing the t-shirt yes we are in a tech uh like tech world where people wear tech outfits like we do not care about outfits but for this one because we do not know where our videos will land let's keep it professional and then for the ladies yes a shirt will work or anything uh yes a shirt will work or any kind of blues but that is also very good looking like professional so keep it professional and then upload your video on YouTube and make sure that it's viewable by everyone. They give it a public access. And uh, hmm, we are done with the video. I hope the video was clear and I hope we managed to take very nice ones. Let's move on to the name and then basic information. This is how your name will appear, or this is the box for your basic information on um, on your Ten Academy profile. So ensure that everything there is straight, pretty straightforward, and make sure your email is clickable, and make sure that your naming is consistent to all profiles. 
to all profiles. If you have three names, put them all there. If you have two names, please put them there um, as they look like on all other platforms, like how we have been talking about keeping it consistent. Uh, and of course, in an international format where we start with the first name, middle names and last names, and remembering that our first names are always these names are uh, like, um, how do we say it? For instance, Abdullah Hamid Musa, your first, the first name is always Musa, and then the family name is always the second. I hope that is clear. For me, like Pascaline Iodusenga, my first name is always Pascaline. Iodusenga is the second name. So it is considered the last name. So let's ensure this. And then let's move to the session section. I think I heard someone raise a hand. Yes, Musa. Hi, Pascali. Hi. So just to make it clear, can we uh, change the first name, last name, and middle name to a uh, person's name, father's name, and grandfather's name? Oh, come again, please. On the slide before this, yeah. So we have first name, middle name, and last name, right? Mm -hmm. So first name would be my name. Uh, then maybe the middle name would be my father's name, and the last name would be my grandfather's name. I mean, if you have on your ID three names, and you have been writing on your CV three names, then the middle name should be always the middle name. Your, I, I, I don't mind if it's your, it's the fathers or the grandfathers. Just what you consider the middle name should be always the middle name. But how does it look like uh, in your international format? Like, can you give us an example, Musa? Like your full name. So my name is Abdul Hamid, and Musa mm -hmm. is my father's name. Mm -hmm. Then my grandfather's name is Sharif. So uh, usually and, here in Ethiopia, and, we follow. And those, those are the names on your ID. Yeah. Ah, okay. Then what do you consider your first name? I think it's my own name, Abdul Hamid. Oh, so Abdul Hamid is your first name. Sorry, I was confusing you. So, yeah, if Abdul Hamid is your first name, then it should be your first name. And then what you consider the middle name and last name, it's okay if uh, if it's your father's or, or, or grandfather's, just what you always consider to be your last name, which I believe is Musa, then it should be Musa. Then the middle name should be Sharif, I believe. Uh, but but on my ID, it's the other way around. It's Abdul Hamid, then Musa, then Sharif. Yeah, but you know that our IDs, uh, the, even on my ID, I'm called Iodusenga Pascaline because in my country, we follow, uh, we, we start with the family name and then our Christian name. But on an international format, it should be Pascaline Iodusenga. You know, so that we cannot change that. So that's the international format. So always also when I'm applying anywhere, my CV always looks like Pascaline Iodusenga. My LinkedIn is Pascaline Iodusenga just to follow the international format. But my ID starts with Iodusenga because that's a local format, Rwandan format. So let's ensure just that we follow the kind of international formats we have. Okay, all yeah? right, thank you. Yeah, all right. Um, okay, let's continue. To the next slide. On the expertise session, uh, you have to list all the expertise and it can be a mix of any kind of acronyms like terms that you use, technical terms, and it can be a mix of tools and platform and frameworks. On the expertise section, it's what we call in CVs like the skill section, but on 10 Academy, we find that we call it expertise section. So you have to mention uh, your expertise in terms of skills and ensure that you keep the names and the keywords there. And, um, 
ensure that you choose from the tables used from the template you will see that to describe the areas of work which is the expertise keywords again not sure why i wrote this twice but yes yeah, same thing and then getting the most relevant three to five key expertise or key skills it's always very important and they should follow from your choice of field when it's a gen ai of course you start with the expertise that are highly needed in gen ai roles and that you believe you have i all right thanks abel for sharing that link about uh how to put your names very well okay that was the about the expertise section and then the about me section it can be two bullets poems but the second one is optional let's see what the first one say on the very first one what you can do make sure that you highlight what you can do well and be specific and very technical because we share these not only with the hiring managers but also with the people in your specific department that you will be joining so make sure it's specific and very technical we are not trying to write it like how we say the for instance in the cover letters that we have to make it light for the hiring managers to read yeah totally understandable but for the 10 academy profile keep it very very technical as high as you want and remember that this is your chance to describe to technical hiring managers what you can demonstratively do well within their team and cover the most important aspects in a brief way and tie this to your choice whether it's gen ai ml or data engineering and then the second option which is very optional highlight what you want to do be clear and specific what you want to do specifically and talk about the type of team that you would like to join if you're not sure then you can leave this one blank what do i mean by the kind of team you would like to join this is where people be like i'm interested in joining a dynamic kind of team data engineering team and you know anything you want to talk about the kind of environment you expect to be joining it's okay but if you feel like you're not sure or you feel like you might be vague about it then keep this second optional or, or this second um option uh blank then when we move to the education part you should include the same information we have on all other profiles which should be the name of the university attended the recent one and then the name of the course you took the dates of the course and any notable courses or project or or any other or any other notable courses um, that you took especially um especially the 10 academy one just like how we did it on cvs and also on linkedins uh yep i was going to talk about something about the education let me pull um uh, again the example we have So at, for some people, this might be optional. Adding these ones, it might be optional just in case you have a background which is that is taught in science or tech, tech in general. So adding these here, and you feel like they might not be relevant, do not put them there. But when you feel like they are relevant, please put them there. Uh, for instance, this one did bachelor in computer engineering, of course, very related. They should be highlighting some of the courses taken or some of the major, uh, major topics covered while they were at this university. Great. Uh, let's keep going then on the work experience. Kind of the same thing as what we have on our CV. It should be highlighting. Um, your past skills it should be highlighting uh it should be able to show or to argue on what you are able to do in the future 
and they should be specific and understandable to global audience and their technical and showcases the kind of tools, platforms, and the results that you have achieved in the past. Keep it to two or three bullet points each. Then we move on the CV link section. This is where you add your C, your link, the link to your CV. So since we haven't finalized our CVs, keep this space option, keep this this space blank. Like, yeah, do not put the link to your current CV because we haven't finalized it. But when we get like the final feedbacks, which is on Wednesday, we should be yes, which is on Wednesday, we should be able to be having, um, to be adding this link here on our 10, 10 Academy portfolio. And of course, it should be in PDF format when we upload it. It should have, it should be fitting into the two pages maximum. That's what we have on 10 Academy. But of course, I think we have been advised to keep it one page. So it will, of course, um, uh match or it will of course fit in the 10 academy space we have for the cv and then um ensure that your cv is clickable that's by sharing your 10 academy profile link with any other friend within a 10, 10 academy just to check how the forwarding looks like and if this cv link is clickable and then we move to the project summary this is the very important part. Like everything we were talking about were like how we, everything looks like in our CVs and other profiles. So then going to the project summary. You should highlight the 10, the projects that you have worked on at 10 Academy or even otherwise, like outside 10 Academy. But ensure, why do we emphasize on the 10 Academy ones? Because, of course, these employers are watching. I, I mean, they expect to uh, to see what you learned from 10 Academy. And, of course, 10 Academy projects have been designed to create, like, high-quality projects that should help you secure interviews. So that's why we emphasize that you emphasize on those projects uh, more even than any other project you worked on before. And then the format. Uh, the format for each should be compelling visual and have a short description. What do I mean by being compelling and visual? For instance, let's come back to our example here. Like uh, when we include visuals, it gives it another kind of quick view for uh, anyone who's lead, reading it to get to know what we're about to talk about, what we're about to talk about. For instance, this person worked on the text-to-speech uh, data collection with Kafka, Airflow, and Spark, and they couldn't put anything else here other than something that looks like um, uh, that looks like a microphone because this is a text-to-speech kind of project. So put here these kind of visuals and a short description about each one of them. We will go into the main description on the page two of the project, the main description, like the detailed description on the page two of the project, which I will also show you. But on this very first page, keep it very short, like just a description and a picture that demonstrates what you are talking about in that specific description. Let's come back to our slide deck. Um, the pictures will help you grab people's attention. Absolutely. And then also someone viewing your summary of the top three projects should see a suit of projects that showcase the level of which you can work. Uh, like these kind of projects, these people worked on so many other projects. We advise that you put here three projects, but if you have more than three, at least put there four, like in between three and four. So what was I going to say here? Uh, like these kind of projects you put here, they should be able to showcase the kind of level you can work on as a graduate from 10 Academy and of course as a person of your background. So ensure that you put here the kind of relevant project and the projects that you are highly confident about. 
And then uh, be sure to include the kind of, in this kind of projects that we have here, be sure to include the projects that were done in groups because uh, we want you to be as honest as possible. Um, and of course, being honest to your part or your contribution within the group work, it shows also the hiring manager that you are able to fit into a team for any, of course, every project is going to be a group project. You will be having your own parts to work on. So showcasing that you have also one of the projects which you have done in the groups and what was your part, it's also a kind of value or kind of selling point of yourself to different hiring managers. And of course, your description should showcase your work, the work that you have done in the past, which the employer could think of as being as useful to their role. This is about the project summary. That's what we have there. And then what do we put on our page two? And what do I mean by the page two? Let's come back to our example profile here. So when you come here, uh, let me expand for us to see everything. The Ten Academy profile has two sections. It has your home page where you put everything that we talked about. These all of these things and then it has a project section where you can dive deeper into the projects uh for this and of course these are you should be talking about the projects you put on the very first page you want to go into details the metric choice uh like detailed summary of what you did which tools framework and languages you used this is where you go into details details and then, uh, of course, you have to add your GitHub repository that goes to these projects, like the code summaries or even the whole project. And um, you explain the next one as well. I can see that she explained just two of them, but it's OK. It's OK. Just ensure that you explain uh, in this section, you put here the details around all the projects you put in section one. in the first project page, this one. Yep, uh, that's what we have on the profile section, page two. And then from there, uh, that's when we care about the publishing because when you are all done and when we have all confirmed about how our pages looks like, that's when Ten Academy, we put them live for anyone uh, who wants to view the kind of person you are and your expertise and everything you have been working on at 10 academy so let's <coughs> so so let's ensure that all the files and attachment are viewable to the world please check this and of course use your name as the link name when you are done uh it will give you an option to name um to name your page, can I call it your page, like your page link. So name it your names. And of course, there should be your three names just in case you have three names. And that's it. We have some examples, which is this one we have been looking at. Let's see another one at least. So um, this is how this one looks. You can even take a look at his video to see someone other than Aaron, how they did it. And then uh, everything like you can see is compelled on their top manner and their expertise is mentioned here. And of course they are into details, like it's not a list of things. These are into tables, the kind of programming languages the ML tools, the automation tools, the general skill sets, and of course, everything should be technical, nothing non technical here. And then the about me, and then the educational background. Um, I can see, okay, this one did it very pretty amazingly, like the education part, it includes 10 Academy and some of the projects done. And then the university where they did computer engineering and then 
also um, what they did in school as well, like relevant courses. And then the work experience is highlighted. They were a developer and then also as an intern, they have some volunteer experience here and they have the link to download their CV and then different projects worked on the first one, second one, and also the third one. And on the pro, on the highlights, we have then uh, the details of how they worked on it and then the GitHub repository to those specific uh, projects. So that's what we have. And uh, we have a copy of the template. Let me click on it and show you how you should make a copy. So this is the template we have. Um, yeah, this is the template we have with Aaron's video and him naming himself Trevor Noah, but okay, it's okay. <laughs> and everything else that we have here. So when you are going to make your copy, please ensure that you do not edit anything, anything. You do not edit anything here. Because if when uh, when I mean by clicking on this template, everything will look so editable to you. So ensure that you do not edit anything. And you come here on these three dots and click make a copy. And then yeah, you will be having your ten academy. I want to see where it went specifically. It should be coming in my next. Okay, it should be coming to my drive. Let me go to my drive and see if I find it very easily. Okay, you can see in my drive, it came here. Like it's the first thing to come on my home page. So copy of the 10 Academy. I open it and this is what I have. Now I can be able to edit it and I can be able to remove the copy of 10 Academy and call it my name and my full name here. This is what we meant by calling it your full name. Also, yeah, this is the kind of name that we appear on your link. And that is it. You will be able to edit everything else to add any pictures of yourself, the project titles, the 50 words description to every title and everything. Yep. Um, okay, let's come back to our slide deck and then see the challenge document. The challenge specifically, it's a, it has an intro to your um to why the profile page of 10 academy and then it has the professional profile checklist how the perfect profile should be looking like it's exactly as how we have it in the template the name the video the expertise section the about me education work experience cv link project summary and then the profile section page two and then on the task uh, this is the task we have. You are going to be making a copy of this template and then create your own 10 Academy profile. And of course, do not use the template to edit. And to remember, your name should be 100% consistent. All links should be clickable, zero spelling mistakes. Again, please. And then be clear and concise. I believe on the CV feedback we received, we saw how uh, making some spelling mistakes could cost you some things we saw some people calling 10 academy as 10 academy uh someone who wrote like 10 academy here so imagine it's someone who wants to see what you worked on exactly at 10 academy and they look out for this and they do not find it so just let's let's ensure that we are professional by proofreading everything and making it zero uh errors like error free we have the guidance from the careers manual and also the slide deck they're kind of the same contents but uh 
you can read the careers manual just to read in details or you can check the slide deck just to see the summaries if you want to check quickly what you have to put on every section and then we have some alumni examples i will put here some like uh other three alumni examples that you can refer to as well and that is it when you are done you will submit the link uh on 10 academy on text sorry <laughs> uh that is it that's what we have for now any questions Any questions? Okay, then if there are no any questions, let's call it a day and uh, go fill it out. The first deadline is on Wednesday. That's when we will go through your 10 Academy profile and then give you feedbacks. And then final submission deadline is on Friday. No more Saturday deadlines. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining.